Hello and welcome to this short video. In around 5 minutes I will go through the complete detailing process, from modeling to documentation, including both drawings and reports. My name is Michał Lipinski and this is ProConcrete Connect Edition Complete Workflow. First, let's model the foundation structure in the quickest possible way. I will add reinforcement to the pad footing using a dedicated tool. Here, I can adjust rebar parameters like size, grade and shape. Software recognizes the shape of the concrete element and fills it with rebar. Next, I will add pure reinforcement using column reinforcement command. Here, I also have an opportunity to define and adjust the reinforcement, change its size and grade and shape. In example, I can select to model circular stirrups or spiral stirrups and set up multiple zones dependent on their spacing. When the setup is finished, I will simply clone the reinforcement to another pier. It still can be adjusted later on. Now that the model is finished, I can proceed with bar marking. In this process, ProConcrete will scan the model, compare the bar shapes and sizes against a specific shape code I have selected. Identical bars will get the same bar mark numbers at the end of that process. We can review the results and see what bars are used in our model, including bar sketches with leg dimensions. For better clarity, the model can be viewed with different colors for different bar types. This color coding can be also used in drawing production. 3D model is the base for all of the documents created in Pro Concrete. To create a drawing, I will rotate the model to look at it from the top and place section callout. Because rebar models can be really congested, it is extremely important to control what is included in the drawing view. That is why I can define view, extents and depth. Next, I will set up drawing scale and create the drawing. Here I can define rebar presentation and decide to show either all bars or just a single bar plus the delimiter. I can change bars presentation to full size or leave them as they are right now with single line presentation. These settings can be saved as defaults and applied to every subsequent drawing created. Next, for clarity, I will adjust position of one of the delimiters and start placing labels. I can adjust their settings, an example for leaders to use 90 degrees angles and change the terminator. I can also pick the preset label text from my configuration. This of course can be adjusted. Codes used here will automatically fetch data like bar size, bar mark, spacing from the bar that I'm annotating so I never make any error with my annotation. Labels can be copied. I will pre-select two of the delimiters and use quick edit command to copy the labels. Then I can efficiently adjust the label position and move it. Now I will work on the horizontal delimiters, this time using a different label preset and copying labels one by one which is also an option. To annotate bars presented as circles in the bottom of the footing, there is a special type of annotation. I will use dimension style label here with the appropriate preset. Finally, I will annotate the spiral rebar with main bar label and copy it to the U bar on the top of the footing. Apart from adjusting the text position, I can also adjust the whole label placement. When the drawing is finished, I can place it on the sheet together with other created views. Each drawing will show corresponding drawing callouts automatically, and I can adjust their presentation to fit the sheet boundary. Now, the last step in the workflow is to create the bar bending schedule. Again, it is done based on the 3D model and I can decide to include just a portion of it or to include the complete model.
After that, I can select which report template I will use. These templates are adjustable to fit any standard. To summarize, we went through rebar modeling, drawing creation, including bar annotation and drawing layout, and finally we did the reports. This is the Pro Concrete Complete workflow. Thank you very much and see you in the next videos.